You bring up an excellent point about research that backs your claims. In the scientific community, we know that you can find research to pretty much support anything. If you are a huge keto advocate and you love keto, there are tons of research, especially back in the you know early 90s, about Atkins and all that, and even now on pure, more keto-style diets that show that keto diets can lower your cholesterol, can do this, can do that. Now, later, we have found out that the weight loss alone, regardless of what diet you do, is what gives you the health benefits. So you can find research to support intermittent fasting. There are tons of studies that have looked at intermittent fasting that show tremendous health benefits. But later we compare intermittent fasting to the same, uh, to continuous throughout the day f eating, but the same amount of calories, same amount of protein, both lose the same amount of weight, both cause the same amount of health benefits. The health benefits come from the weight loss alone and not the actual diet or macronutrients you choose to emphasize. So it's okay if you want to do keto or intermittent fasting or eat a certain way, if that's easier for you. I always tell people, I don't care what diet you plan to follow, but if it's easier for you, then follow it and do it. That's the key. If it's easier and feels less restrictive to you, that's the diet you should follow because the weight loss alone causes all of the health improvements. Even if you ate just Twinkies, if you lost weight and were in a calorie deficit, your health would improve one of my videos on the Twinkie diet. Um, so that's kind of the point. The, the point I'm trying to make is you got to look at the totality of evidence. Most people find one study and they're like, look, I found it. If you eat green broccoli eat two times a day, you do you achieve X, Y, and Z health markers. Right. Definitely true. You can find research to support almost anything. But you have to be able to take all of that research that has been performed on whatever topic you're looking at, keto, diet, you know, weight loss, health, you know, supporting your health, whatever it is, and look at all the the research has ever been done on it and piece it all together in a way that makes sense that is applicable to most people. There are some people that can do keto. There are some people that love intermittent fasting because it fits their schedule. There are some people that want to eat no fat. There are some people that want to eat all fat. There are some people that want to eat green, whatever, bro broccoli and kale, whatever it is. You can find research to support it, but the whole point of it is to take all that research and put it all together in a nice package to say to people, here's the consensus of what all of these last hundred years of research has showed about diet, nutrition, fitness, exercise, and weight loss. So I hope that helps. Thanks for bringing that up.